let's bring in Republican Congressman from the great state of Florida, Mike Waltz. Congressman, welcome. Hey, good to be with you and happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, sir. From Politico, Biden's final foreign trip turned out to be all about Trump. Quote, there was little Biden could say during the summit to vaporize other leaders' fears of a Trump comeback. The mere fact that the presidential race remains a toss-up has unnerved much of Europe. Congressman, what do you make of that? Well, of course they're nervous uh, because President Trump rightly has been very clear that having only 11 of 31 NATO nations meet the bare minimum of their 2% defense commitments is completely unacceptable. And the gravy train is going to be over uh, come this November. Look, we literally just can't afford to subsidize European security anymore when the interest on our national debt is greater than our entire defense budget. So these European politicians are squirming in their seat because they know they're going to have to make tough decisions on their massive entitlement programs, their massive socialist style spending uh, in order to fund their own defense. And I'm not talking about the Eastern European mm -hmm. leaders in the Baltics and Poland, Romania. They're doing what needs to be done to defend themselves. I'm talking about Germany, France, Italy, Spain, the big economies of Europe that have been perfectly happy with the good old kind of the good old back slapping, mm -hmm. you know, invite Biden back into the club of American taxpayers digging into their pockets year after year after year for European defense rather than having to make the tough decisions to ask European taxpayers to dig into their own. On Biden foreign policy, here's Connecticut Congressman Jim Himes. I want to play it and get your reaction. NATO is stronger than ever before. There are two new members of NATO. European countries are starting to spend the 2 percent that they're required to do so. Uh, the invasion of Ukraine was turned back and will not succeed. Uh, Hamas will be taken out of the picture in the Middle East at some point. Europe and the allies are more uh, uh, together than ever before. What is your assessment, Congressman? Well, I have a lot of respect for Representative Hines uh, in, in his ability to put lipstick on a pig there. But uh, the, the fact is, the war should have never happened in Ukraine. Deterrence failed. Biden practically invited Russia to do it with demonstration after demonstration of weakness from Nord Stream 2 to a summit after they hacked our largest pipeline, the colonial pipeline mm. uh, in the United States, to comments like minor incursions and on and on. Uh, and the same, and what, what Representative Himes didn't mention was the totally failed Iran policy. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has been the appeasement of Iran that has allowed them to now be flush with cash and to be emboldened to support groups like Hamas and Hezbollah as they attack Israel. And the Houthis, who just put two missiles into a uh, ship registered to Palau. Just uh, two days ago, 90 percent of global shipping are no, is no longer transiting the Red Sea and the Suez Canal. Uh, a ragtag terrorist bunch has put a halt uh, to major economies and are driving prices higher and higher. And we haven't even started talking about China, which is tripling its nuclear arsenal, launching more into space than us and the rest of the world combined, and now has a larger Navy than the United States and growing. So this, uh, I, I think the entire world uh, is saying, you know what, we're going to have to make tough choices and step up in terms of burden sharing mm -hmm. if we're an ally of the United States or uh, five more years of Biden and we watch deterrence crumble and, and literally the world catch on fire. I'll tell you what, who is uh, dreading the return of Trump? That's our enemies. Uh, that is uh, Iran. That is China. That is North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela. They're the ones cheering the Biden campaign on. And uh, and I think you're going to see more aggression uh, between now and November because they think they can get as much as they can under Biden's weakness. Congressman Mike Waltz, the great state of Florida. Thank you very much for your time and your analysis today, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.